everybody welcome back to our channel this is Steve with Riders in the Storm I want to show you the next place we usually stop at on our way down to Yuma when it starts getting cold up north and this is a BLM right off of old highway 160 between Del Norte Colorado and Monte Vista Colorado great BLM parking on your way back down the back roads to Yuma uh, as you can see turn left right here off of Old Highway 160, that's our actually our rig back there. A lot of places to hike around and see. Great views. Safeway store in Monte Vista. Monte Vista, uh, Colorado had some uh, groceries. Uh, didn't have to fill up with propane or anything. There was no dump anywhere that we could find. We had to get back on the road, and we finally found one on the way down to Flagstaff, which is what's coming up next. But uh, we're going to get back on the road here. Enjoy the uh, scenic views as we drive down to Flagstaff where I'm going to show you the next place that we stopped for about a week uh, right outside of Flagstaff, Arizona. Enjoy guys! Okay, this is the next stop. It's Willard Springs Road. You can see the sign right there. It's right off of I-17 going towards Phoenix from Flagstaff. It's a great location to stop for a week or longer. We enjoyed it there. This is the camping sites along Willard Road. Uh, pan back out here, you can see Willard Road. And you can just follow that road right there. Again, another cheat sheet to help you out. Just some great camping. They did have some cow pa uh, cows in the pasture, and they uh, had some four-wheelers flying in and out when we were there. But it, and it was dusty, but it was kind of a really nice place. We enjoyed walking and hiking around there as well. You'll see that in some of the bee footage that's coming up. And then we're going to go to our last place, which I want to show you, which is not uh, free dispersed camping. It's dry camping in that, that uh, there's no hookups and no um, sewer but it was a great place it's a place called Tuttle Creek which is right by Movie Row and the Alabama Hills which is pure boondocking dispersed camping and it's right close to Lone Pine City in California but you're gonna want to take a road it's about five miles out to this campsite that you see is coming up here this was a great place. We really enjoyed it. It's right underneath the Washash uh, Mountains that you can see here. Those are the hills there on the side. I'll blow it up a little bit so you can see a little bit better. And that little red dot there is where Tuttle Creek is, right by where they film a lot of movies close by. We didn't stay there. We stayed here at Tuttle Creek. We didn't stay at Alabama Hills because the internet service is so sketchy, sketchy there. It's hard to get a good signal and we like to work. So this is some pictures of the camp, uh, the layout, and like I said, it's not free. It's $8 a night, $4 if you have a senior's pass. We enjoyed staying here. You can see the uh, hills to the background. It was just gorgeous. The views were off the charts, guys. And so I'm just going to break away here, play some music, um, let you enjoy the bee footage. Uh, roll that we roll or that we show here and then uh, we're going to show you towards the end the very last part is uh, a movie set that we came up on while we were out driving around one weekend enjoy <laughs>
you're telling me somebody came into Toddle Creek Campground to our site, number 43, opened both latches on our trigger grill and took our dinner and went in there. Yep. All right, I'm going in. I'm going in to get our dinner. Um, there's no. And it better be warm. There's no batteries in that cam, in that flashlight. So you're telling me.